Hello everybody, we are at Petco and I am with Scout. She goes home actually tomorrow. So this is her final exam, if you want to call it, her final field trip. Uh, we'll take her on a pack hike and we'll also dremel her nails. But this is her final outing. We've been to the Williamsport Park with her. Um, we've been to the CNO Canal with her. So really this final week is all off property. And we just like to make sure the dogs can listen in a new and exciting place. Tapping my tone there. So and remember, anytime her head leaves that heel position, you can tap your tone if she's going behind. If she's going too far forward, it would be the stim button, the black ass button. This is a really stimulating environment. There's a lot going on, a lot of smells, but there's also employees they just opened. So they're um, around unloading everything. There's people walking by, right? So a lot of smells on the ground. It just gives us a really good opportunity to teach her, yes, even in this new stimulating environment, you still have to listen. And it's such a great way to teach them by bringing them out. Once they've got that strong foundation to come test it out in the real world. She's doing a great job. Remember, heel is looking down and seeing your dog's head to the left and slightly behind. I stop, she stops. Auto sit looks fantastic. I can drop the leash. Stay. We've been working on her down from a distance. Oh, she's gonna offer it automatically. That's great progress. Um, good girl, I'm just gonna make it clear. Stay. She gets one stay. Anything after that would be N-O and a click on the stem. When you're in a um, more exciting environment like this, expect your numbers on the collar to go up a little bit to match the exciting environment. That's the, that's the reason that there's such a wide variety of levels, right? So we've got people walking all around. We're really testing her ability to stay. Remember back to the drop off, it was a lot of just lunging around. We now have a way to control that. Let's try a recall. Come, good girl, bam, right to me. Off leash in a store, good girl, perfect position. We're gonna go right into that off leash heel. Heel, tap the tone a couple times, start walking. She locks in right into heel, perfect. I can't go too much off leash in this store. They're probably used to dogs being completely out of control. So they have a sign on the front of the store that says dogs must be on a leash. Good girl, she's just doing so well. Good, look at that face. So I'm gonna leash up my leash here and it's a good um, opportunity to show you that people walking by. Never wrap it around your wrist and I don't want you walking them in heel like this either. But I also, I don't want it to be so tight it's like that. So we grab by the handle and we do one, two loose loops and this gives you the perfect length for walking. There's a lot of action going on. So I'm gonna grab my e-collar. Okay, got carts rolling by. Now we're gonna practice uh, some stationary commands right up front. To get her back into heel, we're gonna tap the tone and say heel and start walking. Heel, tap the tone, start walking. A lot of people. Good girl. I think it's, um, everyone has off work today because it's Columbus Day. So it's good for us. Good practice. Good girl. Down. She's really improved on that down command. Remember, she used to go halfway and then make me click the collar. Now she's just doing it either on her own or with verbal only. So good girl, you've got a lot of action up here. Beautiful job. We're right at the front entrance. Um, we're right by the grooming area, the registers, the doors are opening and closing as people come in and carts are going by. She's really just exceeded my expectations. And we're right by all these treats too. Such a good girl, Scout. Good girl. Scout, freak. Good girl. <laughs> That's a good girl. Good job. We just left Petco. And now we're walking back to the car again in a nice heel. Good girl. We never want the dog to think, oh, the session's over, time to drag my owner. So just make training a part of your daily life, not break it up into sessions, and then it'll just become part of her routine. She's doing so well. 